Hello, this is Eric of NotBios Tech and Reviews, and this is my review of the Oracle 7 port USB 3.0 hub. Having the correct drivers in your computer updated through the manufacturer, being Intel or AMD, or through the motherboard really, really matters, or else you can get some delays and things may not work just as they should. Also keep in mind, laptops tend to have lower power USB and may not have the data throughput. The USB color on your PC will matter. Black ports tend to be on the PC itself, USB 2.0 and not 3.0. That is 10 times lower data rate as well as less power output. So connecting a blue port as in a blue port on this hub is important to the PC. If you connect to red, generally on the PC, as long as labeled correctly, is actually a newer port than 3.0, and that should be absolutely 100% fine. This is five volts, three amp max, which means 15 watts max power output for this particular unit. And this was sent to me directly from Oracle. Information such as what is in the box, and the type of connection, just basically a little guide with instructions. And here is the USB device itself. I'm going to untwist tie this because it's my first time ever opening this here. Looks like we have an option to expand how much power we have going through through another USB type C. I'll get on that in a bit. But here we have the USB 3.0 connection that you can see blue don't connect it to a black connection unless you know it's at least 3.0 or else you're going to get much lower data transfer rates as well as probably much lower power being a max of 10 watts rather than 15 watts of power now let's get this connected as we can see here, there's a small little light here when it's connected to the computer. I have it connected to my USB hub. I'm going to connect my keyboard and mouse to this so we can get some testing done. The connections are quite snug, so that's going to be a concern for many different people. Let's get that connected. Hopefully, wow, that's snug. And then I'm pulling the other one out of my case because I have to use a lot of USB ports with all the devices I have. So is my keyboard and mouse working? That's something for me to find. And yes, it is working. So we have two different devices connected that are working right now. We want to connect more than that. So now I connected my mobile phone charging cable. Let's see if that works. So we've got three devices connected so far. I wonder if the data is going to work. Well, it's now connected to my computer. So we have three data devices working right now on this port. Generally, that's about the limit of most USB hubs. So this is going to get to the point of updating drivers because without updated drivers, I can only run three devices without an extra USB cable and hit about five as a limit. Guess what? We can have all seven ports as data transfer. We're going to update the drivers and then I'll show that I have all seven devices connected. And if you want that extra power, you will want to use that USB-C. So let's check this out. You can face delays in your reaction time with your computer mouse, and it doesn't auto install through Windows 10, and it probably won't auto install the newest drivers through Windows 11. I'm using an AMD CPU, and of course you have Intel, you're gonna use that. So to get the newest update, I'm just going to go download right here and install these drivers. And then, of course, you're going to go to install and get your newest drivers for USB, your CPU, built-in graphics, and all that fun stuff. Was amd.com, if I get rid of this, and go back, you can see it was under downloads and support. How about Intel? To install the newest Intel drivers, you're going to go to intel.com as written here. And I'm going to go to install the drivers I need. So I'm going to go to support and I'm going to go to, I guess, auto update your drivers because we don't know what we're going to need. And you're going to download and run. It's going to auto detect Intel products and we're going to download the drivers and software. We need to make sure we have the proper drivers. And you may want to go to your motherboard site to also get the newest BIOS 
In my case, I'm using MSI. So if I was using MSI, for instance, for your motherboard running your devices, I'm actually using the B650. This is the old motherboard is running, but you still may want to get the newest BIOS if you're having problems still with your system and running your USB ports at all. Also, drivers may be something of concern. However, we already have the newest drivers directly from AMD, so this will not be needed. And make sure you select the right product. I'm with Windows 10 and utilities, depending if there's something you may need, like Realtek audio controller. So if you have an optimized system running the proper software, you should not have problems that are unexpected. The next problem we can end up facing is if you're trying to do data, if you don't have the proper data cables, because a lot of them are rated different. Some are charge cables only. That means you can only power your devices. And right now, everything is running. In fact, I'm going to show that right away. I got the Rode NTG here. I have it labeled on my screen. So I'm going to show, of course, the waveforms on my screen. You can see the waveforms on the other one, but I'm going to tap this specifically right on the Rode NTG. And uh, this one, DDV mic. And let's make sure that's, yeah, that's one running. Uh, Voxcon, and uh, we can see the waveforms there. Okay, so everything is working. Now, that's three devices. Wireless device, that's the Voxcon. Right here's my mobile phone. Right here, so let's check to PC the data connection. Now I'm going to my Xiaomi 12X. Go here, go to DCM, go to open camera, see that the files are right there. Let's see, actually I'm gonna make sure it's not trash files, so go to camera. Is it reading? Yes, it's reading from my mobile phone, so not a problem there. Now let's check out uh, my memory card reader. This is for my camera. So I got a big mess happening here. So here I have my ProGrade memory card reader. And that's my removable disk. I'm going to go to my files and check my clips. And let's open up a clip on this file. There we go, it's reading. So you divide by eight to give you how many megabytes it transfers at for maximum. Generally with this type of USB, your maximum transfer rate is gonna be somewhere around 600 megabytes per second possible. Now you gotta be careful that you're connecting to the right USB port. These particular ones are 10 gigabit ports I'm using right now connected to this. So I'm getting my full five gigabits. So 10 gigabits to five. So I automatically have my full speed and I then some, but this is gonna be limited to what it is capacity wise. Now let's disconnect this and see how much I actually lose. I don't know if I'll lose anything or if I'm exceeding my power output of my one USB, I shouldn't be, but I bet it's gonna reduce the device. So connecting to USB-C on top, this might be a limiting factor. All three microphones are still working. I can still see it on my screen. And uh, let's see. That's still playing my file. You get yourself a deal on a tiny old phone subscription. So yeah, my file still plays. And then uh, let's check my phone. So we can see my phone still working. All my photos are still all there. It's all going mouse, keyboard, and guess what? I only have one cable connected to my proper port. Now, if I want to, I could be charging all my devices, but to charge my full power, I might need that second USB-C. So data is still working despite only having one cable to this hub. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is this is quite firm to insert and remove. Of course, if you're concerned about it being too tight, you may want to do a couple inserts and out and uh, removals. So a couple USB-C devices connected. And being that I need data, I have a data adapter that's USB-C. I'm going to remove one microphone to USB-A. If you're using adapters or cables, you got to make sure it's a proper standard or else you'll either get just charge or you won't be able to charge your device properly. And uh, of course, not all USB cables are made to the correct standard. 
So you can occupy all these ports even with one cable connected. If you're on a laptop, just note that not all laptops allow all ports to be connected and have full power because a lot of laptops run at half power. So the main thing here is to get the right drivers and have your computer set up fully for the capability. Black ports usually on a PC mean USB 2.0. You're not gonna get full speed. You're not gonna get full power on USB 2.0. A lot of time on a computer, a USB 3.0 is going to be blue. Blue ports like this that are not 3.0, they're actually a lie. So here is an actual 3.0 on a PC port as long as you're not getting some knockoff brand and you know you're getting your proper speed there. Now again, if you connect to the same port side by side, so for instance on my case, if you have two ports side by side and you connect to another device right beside where your hub is connected, odds are it's going to take away from your data capability because usually they're interconnected when they're side-by-side -side ports. If they're down below those other ports, usually that's a different connection. So you're not going to lose your information and data throughput or your power use. So that is a simple way to know how this works. So does this device work? Absolutely. It's just a matter of having the right drivers, the right ports, the right connections. And again, I'm using this entire thing and I could charge multiple devices, but if you wanna make sure you are getting full capability, extend your power with the second USB. And of course, the one part about wall plugs and random USB cables is sometimes they're sold under spec, not the same quality as you should get. And wall plugs can sometimes are also called wall warts, is sometimes they're not made to the right quality and can actually damage your ports on your USB hub. So be mindful of what you use. This is Eric of Not BIOS Tech and Reviews. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.